now we will move for further lecture that let us start with the lecture by mrs manjiri desai head medical records section diva patil medical college kolhapur i would like to invite mrs manjiri desai uh, it's my pleasure to introduce her i would uh, mrs manjiri desai at present is working as head of medical records section for last 17 years she has completed her bsc and msc in the statistics from shivaji university kolhapur she has a teaching experience as an assistant professor in the department of statistics for 10 years she has participated in the continuous improvement by generating suggestions and engaging in problem she has been guiding the students of phd postgraduate undergraduate mbbs students in data analysis she has handled all data records and performed data analysis using spss software i request desai madam to proceed further for the lecture good morning all uh, i first my uh, sincere thanks to uh, sharma sir uh, dean diva patil medical college then dr ashutosh poddar professor and head uh, department of forensic medicine uh, dr wag madam professor and head department of community medicine and uh, uh, dr mrs gaikwad madam uh, medical superintendent diva patil hospital and research institute uh, i am very uh, thankful to the organizing committee for uh, giving me this opportunity to share my knowledge with you about the icd code and coding so today i am going to explain you about the how to assign the icd code what is its importance and little about the mortality statistics now clinical coding is a health administration function that involves the translation of written clinical statement into a code format a clinical coder will analyze information about an episode of patient care and assign standardized code using a classification system for example uh, for acute, acute appendicitis is represented by the code k35.8 for coding diagnosis most nation use international classification of disease 10th edition that is icd 10 developed by uh, who uh, this is the photo of that book it is the 10th edition clinical coding is a process of transforming information about disease or procedure into a numeric or alphanumeric format assigning a code for a specific diagnosis or procedure provides a way of standardizing the recording of clinical information clinical coding was originally applied to mortality data but now used to classify all patient hospital episodes and procedures originally clinical coding was used to categorize mortality data currently it is the basis of hospital national database uh, through which episodes of care are grouped into diagnosis related groups with the main purpose of hospital reimbursement in addition these databases of clinically coded data are widely used in research epidemiology uh, quality management among the others uh, the accuracy and completeness of coded data is paramount for the appropriate hospital funding and epidemiology and some research has been carried out to identify problems related to clinical coding the following barriers uh, Uh, with the quality of coded uh, were identified uh, limit limited understanding of medical terminology by coders coder experience or problems in health records such as lack of specificity of information register or classification system imperfection so these are the some of the barriers in coding the importance of uh, icd coding is the purpose of icd Uh, and of who sponsorship is to promote international comparability in the collection classification in routine tables have been revised to reflect the new classification this is the importance of icd code uh, 
ICD codes provide more detailed information for measuring healthcare service quality, safety, and efficacy. Because better data will be provided via the ICD code set, it has the potential to improve the following things. It will give you the value-based reimbursement. Also, it helps in outcome measurement, in clinical, financial, and administrative performance measurement, the design of payment system and claims processing, reporting on new medical technology. It helps in improving reimbursement systems. Uh, it also helps in care and disease process management. The adoption of the ICD code set also allows for more accurate payment for new procedures, fewer rejected claims, fewer fraudulent claims, a better understanding of new procedure and improved disease management. So this is how the ICD uh, codes are important. The uh, structure of ICD classification is the ICD is uh, originally designed as a healthcare classification system, providing a system of diagnostic codes for classifying diseases, including nuance classification of a wide variety of signs, symptoms, abnormal findings, complaints, social circumstances, and external causes of injury or disease. So uh, these are the some precautions which has to be taken while uh, assigning the codes to the diseases. ICD codes uh, describes the patient's diagnosis, symptoms, complaints, condition, or problem. Use the ICD 10 CM code that is cheaply responsible for the atom or service provided. Assign codes to the highest level of specificity. Do not code suspected diagnosis in the outpatient setting. So these are the some of the precautions to be taken while assigning the ICD codes. Now these are the series of ICD codes in alphanumerical format. Uh, uh, this series contains A00 to B99 contains, will include certain infectious and parasitic diseases. C00 to D49 will contain neoplasms, then D50 to D89 uh, includes diseases of blood and blood forming organs and certain disorders involving the immune mechanism. E00 to E89 will include endocrine, nutritional and metabolic diseases. F09 to F99, mental, behavioral, and neurodevelopmental dis dis disorders. G00 uh, to G99, diseases of the nervous system. H009 to H59 series will include diseases of the eye and adenexa. Uh, the series H60 to H95 will include diseases of the ear and mastoid process. Then I00 to I99 includes the diseases of circulatory system. J00 to J99 includes the diseases of the respiratory system. K00 to K95 includes the diseases of the digestive system. L00 to L99 includes diseases of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. M00 to M99 series contains diseases of the mucoskeletal system and connective tissue. Then N00 to N99 includes the diseases of uh, genitourinary genito systems. O00 to O09 includes pregnancy, childbirth, and purpia. Then P00 to P99 includes certain conditions originating in a perinatal period. Q00 to Q99 includes congenital malformation, deformations, and chromosomal abnormalities. The series R00 to R99 sim includes symptoms, signs, and abnormal clinical and laboratory findings not elsewhere classified. The series S00 to T88 includes injury, poisoning, and certain other consequences of external causes. Series A U00 to U85 includes codes for special purposes. And V00 to Y99 includes external causes of morbidity. Z00 to Z99 includes factors influencing health status and contact with health services. So this is the entire alphanumeric series which covers almost all the diseases. Now below this uh, each series, the hyperlink is given. Uh, so if you open that on internet, uh, you will get the details of the each series. Now. Let us see uh, the uh, simple mechanism uh, of assigning the code uh, to any disease. Uh, so first see the final diagnosis and then see the history and the condition for the subcode. 
Now, according to the final diagnosis, the main code will be given, and then according to the history and condition, the subcode will be given. For common diseases, uh, see first the final diagnosis and then assign the main code. Like, uh, for example, in hypertension, the code is I10. Now, in diabetes, the common code is E14. Now, if you go into the history uh, and in details, if in case any body, body part is involved, for example, gangrene foot is there, then code will be E14.6. So this is the main code and this is the sub code. So this is uh, common for all uh, diseases. In case of uh, death cases, uh, to assign the code, you have to see the cause of death. In case of medical legal cases, you have to uh, see first whether it is accident, whether it is OP poisoning or whether it is a uh, burn or what. So accordingly, uh, see this example, RTA bike. So first you have to see whether it is accident. So you have to assign the main code. Then you have to see the type of vehicle and see the external cause of injury and then assign the sub code here. Now in case of poisoning cases, you have to see the type of drug. Then in case of uh, burn cases, first you have to see the percentage of burn, whether it is 80%, 90%, 70%. And then you have to see whether it is a chemical burn, electrical burn, acid, so on and so forth. So likewise, you have to assign the codes in case of medical legal cases. Now, this is all about the uh, ICD-10 and uh, how to assign the codes. Now, uh, here are some uh, aspects about the mortality statistics. So mortality is a condition of being mortal or susceptible to death the opposite of immortality. Sources of mortality data, direct sources are registration of vital events, sample registration survey, national family health survey, and indirect sources are age uh, data of two consecutive censuses may be used to estimate death rates. Always the census is the huge source of data for uh, almost all the vital events. Demographic yearbook, WHO also provides the uh, mortality statistics. Uh, now, these are the some limitations in mortality data. The risk in population may vary largely with various socioeconomic and biological traits. The lack of reliable and requisite, requisite data presents serious problems, sometimes of considerable magnitude. So, these are the some of the limitations of mortality data. Now, these are the main, uh, some main measures of mortality. Crude death rate, age-specific death rate. Cause specific death rate, infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, pregnancy related mortality rate, life expectancy at birth, years of potential life lost. So, these are the some of the measures of mortality. So, WHO death tables by country as a resource. This is the link, uh, uh, WHO link for death tables. Each country should develop national cause of death tabulation list to meet specific needs. Now, uh, these are the ICD recommendation uh, for uh, coding various levels of details available. Diagnosis, location of event, contributing conditions, etc. And age classification vary by indicator. So this is the standard uh, age classification we have to use. Now, I said recommendations uh, for uh, cause-specific mortality tabulations are major civil division, state, province, region, country, town, or con -urban urbanization of, of greater than 1 million, otherwise largest town with population greater than or equal to 1 lakh, national aggregate of urban areas greater than or equal to 1 lakh population, National aggregate of urban areas, less than 1 lakh population. National aggregate of rural areas. So include definitions of urban and rural, whereas uh, where medical certification of COD is limited to certain areas. Separate figures for deaths not uh, medically certified. So you have to mention all these. Uh, these ICD tabulation lists 
uh, is a list of uh, causes of mortality adopted by WHO uh, World Health Assembly in 1990 is general mortality condensed list contains 103 causes, causes. general mortality selected list contains 80 causes infant and child mortality condensed list contains 67 causes infant and child mortality selected list contains 51 causes so which list to use uh, condense uh, condense full range of icd categories selected list atoms significant for monitoring population health status at subnational national and international levels and customized for local use if no international comparison is there so we have to use this uh, list accordingly now this uses of uh, uh, this mortality statistics are to identify population group with highest number and percentage of deaths to rank causes of death by main groups and underlying cause so these are the uh, main uses of uh, mortality statistics now these are the sum of the tables uh, uh, and graphs which shows you the which will enable you to do the comparison between the different mortality uh, statistics now this is the crude and age adjusted deaths so age adjusted and crude, crude rate is compared here over the different census years then this is percentage distribution of death by sex and year of death uh, this dark brown color stands for male and this is a faint brown for female so line chart is shown by uh, two different colors for comparison of male and female uh, distribution of death over the different years now this is the percentage distribution of death by age and sex so according to the age wise male female distribution of death is shown by line chart then this is the again line chart age adjusted death rate by sub population different populations are shown you can see the trend over the different uh, years now this is the proportional bar chart uh, showing the distribution of natural and non natural causes of death by the year of death so this part will show for the uh, non natural death uh, faint yellow and dark yellow will show for the natural death so you can see the trend of uh, this percentage of not natural and non natural deaths over the different years uh, this is the external cause of death a natural versus external cause of death graph uh, over the different uh, age wise classification is there so likewise you can compare the different uh, mortality death rates uh, accordingly this is the life expectancy differential by sex and race natural deaths due to ill defined causes are shown by simple bar chart so these are the some of the graphs now this uh, mortality statistics plays an important role in public health mortality data is the only data that is available in many of the developing countries such information is easy to obtain and due to nature of the event probably it is reasonably accurate mortality data is the beginning point for many public health studies A mortality data is useful for studying health trends for planning execution and evaluation of various health programs they are very much important for uh, epidemiological research so this is the uh, role of mortality statistics in public health uh, so with this uh, i will stop here uh, thank you for once again thank you for the organizing committee for uh, for giving me the chance to share my knowledge with you and thank you students for the kind listening thank you uh, thank you madam for explaining about the clinical coding barriers associated with the clinical co coding data, the uses of ICD coding. You have explained the precautions while assigning the code for various diseases, then various uh, mechanisms of assigning coding. Then you have explained with uh, different charts, uh, statistical graphs, and explained the role of mortality statistics in public health. So thank you, madam, for your informative lecture.